Welcome back, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and we have a package for Mr. McFeely. Now, this package comes all the way from Kentucky, and it's actually the result of a trade. So, let's see what we got from the land of Louisville Slugger. Now, in all seriousness, this is a trade I did with Michael Shane, also known as Jericho941 IMI. Uh, so check out his YouTube channel. There's a few things from my collection, um, from my Greenberg collection, um, that were beneficial to him. And there's a few things that he had to offer for both my Greenberg collection and for the Jewish PC in general. So, I've been one that I will, I don't need the highest, best grade on a card. I want a nice, clean example of a card. Um, but I've been fortunate enough to get some really good examples at some really good prices. Um, Mike is one that he likes to have the best example possible um, of each card um, that he has in his collection. So it worked out well in that we were able to swap cards and um, I was able to get a couple more pieces for the PC. So I can already tell there's more than what we agreed upon. Which is good because I sent more than we agreed upon too. So it all works out. This is just a white piece of cardboard in the bottom. So the box seems to be empty now. So, let's get into this. I'm going to zoom back on in a little bit. And this was not part of the agreed upon trade. So, thank you, Michael, for the extras. I also see at least one other. This is a Goody Rosen from the Brooklyn Dodgers, signed photo. I have a Goody Rosen photo signed. I don't believe I have this one, though. So I will gladly put that in my binder. And now we're going to get into some good old Hank cards and some others. And yes, I will probably struggle with multiple layers of tape. He'll do the same in when he unpackages mine. Alright. So loose cards definitely thrown in. Because that was not part of our original deal. So starting off with one of my favorite Hank back cards. And it's from Flair Greats. Which is nice because I don't have this one. I have the one numbered into a hundred, but I don't have this particular version. So thank you very much for that. We have Milton Mickey Rutner signed card. Definitely did not have one of him. This is kind of one of the obscure players that we try and find. He's only played a few games with the Philadelphia Athletics, so it's hard to kind of find them every once in a while. Then you have three different Hank cards. I have some of these. I can't remember if I have this. these versions. These are all numbered. This is numbered to 75 from OBAC. This is, I believe, 2010. Also numbered to 75. Let's see if I am correct. Uh, 2011. I knew it was right around there because there's a Trout Oback. Which is a lot cheaper. Rookie card wise than most. And this one's out of 50. So thank you Michael for those additions. I don't... If 
I had this guess right now off the top of my head, I'd say I don't have any of those. And then this, oh, very nice. Also not part of the original trade. Nice Hank Greenberg signed newspaper article. And it's funny, I have that newspaper photo. And this is, I believe, right when he got back from the service in 45. Before he played his first game. <clears throat> and didn't really know if um, he would be able to play anymore. Um, because really, for a lot of players, it was up in the air. You're away for so long, it's really questionable whether you're going to be able to perform on the field. So, another Hank Auto for the BC. I did send him one Hank Auto, which I duplicate of. So, I got a Hank Auto in return. And we have this package here. Start right off the top. So a nice, decent little um, 34 to 36 batter up. Greenberg Black. So I had a really nice example in a two and a half. Um, so I sent that over to Michael. He sent me this one. And then I had a PSA seven of the blue and he had the equivalent of a five which is uh, SGC 60 so I, we swapped those and I got a little bit of credit and it seems like there's more than what there should be in here let's see what this one is first I don't know this is everything so basically, we knew we were going to swap those, and then with the credit that I kind of built up, um, these were kind of the other things I was able to get, um, which were offered to me. So, a exhibit, 39 to 46 exhibit, truly yours, so the more common, but it is in a 5, which is very nice for these larger cards. A very difficult 1911 OBAC cigarettes mensor one of the obscure Jewish players so this is the 1911 and then a hundred years later I kind of put the little release together So, really hard one for me to find. They don't come up often. Um, I didn't have a mentor in the collection. So I'm happy to add that. And then this is the key piece that we added here. Which, And this is one of those things where I don't think I'd ever be able to find another one of these. This is a postcard. 1936 completely made out in Greenberg's hand and these were likely made by Greenberg himself so that he could send them out um, I haven't seen one come up for auction and when this is offered to me at a phenomenal price to begin with um, I was definitely interested to say the least um, having a nice um, postmarked Greenberg Auto um, even though it's not the full SIG I'm okay with that um, and it's a very personal thing he, everything's written in his hand um, he produced these himself to send out to fans um, because after the 35 season, he needed to do something that was easier for him to reply. And this is what he produced. So, this is the only image, version of this image that I have. 
um, and obviously the only postcard I expect to find. So, adding a very nice rare Hank piece to the collection. Again, really what I gave up was one grade on the black batter up, but I have one raw, which I think will get a decent grade. Now, I'll upgrade that automatically. <clears throat> a very respectable mid-grade blue version of the card. I had a high grade, which I got for a fantastic price. Um, and then a duplicate Hank um, with a later um, kind of executive signature on it. So those are the things I gave up from the PC, and I was able to... Um, replace the two cards uh, add well I planned on adding this one sig which is a plain days you know early sig but then he sent me another sig up there um, being the overly generous gentleman that he is and a nice little upgrade on the exhibit and add another Jewish player so it's quite the haul to say the least um, and I'm very happy with things on my end um, unfortunately, I got my package out a little bit later um, to Michael, just because my schedule is crazy right now. Um, but I really, really hope that he enjoys everything that's coming his way, because um, they really are some fantastic examples. Um, the blue batter up, I think, is properly graded, um, but it is a 7. It's very difficult to find those in that kind of grade. Um, the black one, I think, is undergraded, um, and it's really a really nice, clean, unfolded example of that. And the raw, but with um, JSA cert um, auto, it's a nice little postcard. Um, it's a great image. It's a great signature on there. Very clean, very crisp signature, um, and I think he'll enjoy that very much. So hopefully it's just as enjoyable on his end as it is on mine. Um, again, the replacements are great. The two keys for me are this piece, which again, it's an opportunity to get something I'm probably never going to find again um, or highly unlikely to find again. And if I do, um, it'll be at some insane price, more than likely. Um, and I'm picking up a nice piece for the overall Jewish collection. Um, something, a little, a player that I've been missing and I was able to add. So really happy on my end. So thank you, Michael, both for what we agreed upon and all the crazy extras that you threw in there. You didn't have to, but it is greatly appreciated. Um, and I really enjoy our conversations um, your friendship, your advice, since you have much more experience in the Greenberg market than I do. Um, I think I'm uh, picking up a lot, a lot of knowledge pretty quickly, but one thing about this hobby is you have to understand there's people out there that know more than you do. And the sooner you can acknowledge that, the better off you're going to be, especially when it's a player, team, topic, you know, commonality, whatever you, whatever it happens to be, um, that you want a PC. Uh, Michael and I collect Greenberg. Um, we also collect Jewish players in general. And again, he has just a phenomenal collection. And I'm actually very, very happy um, to have um, helped. Um, upgrade a couple cards for you um, it really is um, something that I enjoy doing because um, again I still have the cards just you know not the same grade which is okay with me um, but having all these other little things you know having um, these rare and hard to find items um, is really fun and especially things that were actually in Hank's hand um, things that he made, that he had produced, that he sent out personally. It really is 
um, a phenomenal thing to have in the collection. So I thank you for allowing me um, to add this to my collection and for supporting my collection, um, the channel, and hopefully we'll have another round table with Brian, uh, B-Raw6, um, and really kind of maybe talk about this trade a little bit and how we got some of the cards and uh, also kind of some of the pickups, which I know we've both been pretty active lately, uh, picking up things here and there. So that's the video I got for you. Again, a huge mail day with some expected and unexpected items from Michael Shane. So please go check out his video. And also remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.